This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. The Food for Kids program provides healthy meals to kids ages 5 through 14 during the summer school break, and they're gearing up for another season. Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Samantha Croy is live with more on their effort. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. Thanks, Ella, and good morning, Heartland. It actually is a nice day. It's a little bit cooler, but I am here at the Rotary Park in Kirksville, joined by Rebecca Zimmer, who is a part of the Food for Kids 2014. You want to just tell me a little bit about that? It's all about providing lunches to uh, students now that school is completely out of session for the summer. You want to just talk a little bit about it? Sure. Um, Food for Kids started several years ago when people realized that kids who qualify for free and reduced lunches during the school year still have the need for extra food and extra nutrition during the summertime. So um, they started figuring out how to provide food for kids in the summertime and what we ended up with here in Kirksville is feeding kids in the summer at the parks. We serve four different parks in Kirksville, uh, JC, PC Mills, Brashear, and Rotary Park this year. Rotary Park is new this year. We moved from Memorial and um, we serve lunch from 12 to 1, Monday through Friday. And I know we have uh, some props here. It is lunch, but it is a little bit fun too. There's games to play. You want to talk a little bit about kind of what goes into the lunch and just making sure that it's nutritious for the kids. We have to follow all the same regulations that the school lunch program has to follow. So um, every component of the meal has to be served to every child. But basically, you see, they get a sandwich, a milk, a juice, an applesauce, or some other kind of fruit cup, and then usually a snack. And if they want a second, if we have them, then they get them. And the nice thing, too, is with the kids, uh, their parents bring them or family members, and if there's enough food to go around, then you feed the families as well. So it's just a great program that you guys are doing this summer. Um, we do have some of the stuff here. If you take a look, it's going to go into the lunches, and volunteers help out. They put the lunches together. Uh, just talk a little bit about how... Uh, awesome it is to kind of have that support behind you. Well, it's really exciting because I think it's one of one of those things in Kirksville where the entire community really does get involved. We have um, probably 15 different churches and other organizations that donate their time to make sure that this program can happen. Because when you're talking about preparing everything, sending it out, four different parks, you need at least 20 volunteers a day. So in order to do that for eight weeks, um, it takes a lot of people. Yes, and we do have some of the interns here with us. We'll speak with them a little bit later on in the show, but for now, Good Morning Heartland will continue right after this. Good morning. Food for Kids provides nutritious meals for kids that may not be able to get it elsewhere during the summer months, and they're set to begin this week. Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Samantha is live with more. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. and good morning if you're just joining us we are out here at the rotary park talking about the foods for kids program that's going on this summer i have two interns with the program here with me sarah and carly we're going to talk a little bit about the program still now in years past we did have kids coming up grabbing their lunches and then you know kind of going home going about their day but we have changed that since and um, we have park liaisons now to kind of interact with the kids and kind of build those relationships. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, this summer um, we're moving really towards building community and so we're going to have, we have a great group of park liaisons this summer and so they're going to be hanging out with the kids and they'll really get to know their names and sort of build those relationships that we've been lacking in past years. And now we did show off some of the games here. It's really important to kind of build those relationships and it kind of does help with um, getting out of poverty. I know, Carly, you kind of uh, have this as your little expertise here. You want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, poverty really affects uh, food insecurity, which is like lack of access to nutritionally adequate foods. And especially in the summer when they're not in schools and don't have the programs, uh, they need someone and we're that someone for them. And we make it really, really fun because it's kind of like a summer camp, but it's for free. And there's there's 20.9 percent of children in Dare County, so you can just imagine one in five children are food insecure. So, 
and how do you think that this is going to help with this year, you know, and years in the past and everything? Kind of how has it helped a little bit? Um, we saw a 21% increase in um, people applying for these programs. So I just see it growing and growing and people becoming uh, less stigmatized by um, getting free stuff, getting free food or living off these programs. Um, so I see a rise in, you know, use and and how does it make you feel, you know, being a part of this? This is such a great organization, really trying to help the community and the kids in Adair County. How does it make you feel that you, you are coming back? Well, it's definitely a really great opportunity, kind of just building relationships with these kids and giving them and their families that social capital to try and pull themselves out of poverty. And so it's just been a really great experience so far working with everyone, and it's been a lot of fun. Okay. Well, it starts this week, and we do have more information that we'll post on our website of parks that you can go to. It's for an hour during lunchtime. Come out and play some games as well with the volunteers and the park liaisons. And, of course, if you're interested in volunteering, we'll put uh, more information on our website.